Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I am back at it again with the pool. I can't get enough. It's just becoming that time. It's getting very warm here. It's pretty hot today. So I'm gonna head into the pool, do some reading, relax a little bit. I'm wearing a very interesting ensemble. Also Drew's in the background right here if you see him. <laughs> I'm wearing my thrifted PBR hat, which is amazing, and I'm wearing this swimsuit from the brand's called We Are We Wear. But yeah, we're gonna go get some sun and do some reading. It's a while later, I'm showered, I'm so clean, I took a nap, like this day has been glorious. I actually wanna go out on a limb and say that I truly rested today, which is pretty rare if you know me. Um, you know, I literally don't know how to rest, so that was quite refreshing. I was outside for like probably, honestly probably like close to three hours, it was glorious. We're gonna make some salads for dinner and I'm about to close up these blinds and I forgot to show that we got, we had to get blackout curtains in here because when we flipped the living room around, when we watch TV now, you probably can't see it, but the lines are like all over the TV. And it got so bad one day that we literally couldn't see the TV. Like it was awful. We were like, duh, why didn't we think of this? And we were like, well, we could just flip it back around the other way. But we really like the layout of this living room now. It's just so much more open and it feels way bigger. So anyways, we ended up getting like really cheap Amazon blackout curtains and they were kind of iconic. So I'm gonna link them down below in case you're interested. Hold on, I need to show you. I don't know if you can see. No, it's okay. I don't know if you can see it that well, but like right here, right here, and right here are where the blinds are showing when you're watching TV and you can see like the bushes and stuff and it becomes really distracting, but watch it when I close the blinds. When you turn the TV on, boom. Absolutely beautiful. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna make some like dinner salads basically. Um, I haven't had a single vegetable today, so I'm gonna fix that. Hi. Hello. Hello. So we're air frying some chicken tenders. I actually saw Maddie Wilson talk about these on like her Instagram story. I haven't been using this for my cold brew. Oh yeah. No, I'm such an idiot. Silly you. But I always see her raving about these chicken tenders. We got them at Safeway, FYI. And they're gluten free. But like, we don't care about that. What? What's the matter? She's like, you haven't shown me yet, mom. But they're just these like, gluten free chicken tenders and they're just frozen and then you just put them in the air fryer and they're delicious and they're really, really crispy. Like the breading kind of is like Rice Krispie Treats vibe. It's delicious. Drew and I were just talking about the fact that, you know, maybe we could just do like a little happy hour. Also ignore Layla's wet food. We have to soak her food now. Well, we did after she had surgery because her food needed to be soft and we didn't want to like buy soft food. So the vet told us to just soak her food in water and she loves it. Like she's so obsessed with it. So I think we're just gonna keep doing it. But anyways, we're gonna have some drinks. So we went to H Mart recently and we got some good stuff. So Drew's gonna have an Orion. We actually had this when we were in Japan. And it was, yeah, it was like a, a mall train station, but there was a rooftop garden and we drank Orions there and they were delicious. It's probably somewhere on my vlog channel. And then I'm gonna have just a little bit of vino. Oh, I get to get my quarantine wine glasses. This feels very fun and nostalgic. I mean, not like that time in life, obviously, but who remembers? Who remembers? <laughs> Pistachios. Definitely need craisins. I have craisins with every single salad of my life. I'm gonna get some cucumber. Don't come for me. I don't want to get a freaking cutting board right now. So I'm just using a paper towel. Definitely gotta have the cucumber. It's just like the freshness and the crunch. I'm big on texture in salads. Like I have to have a really actually my salads are supremely crunchy, like probably obnoxious. Do you want some? No, a little bit. Cucumbers. We're gonna do some ava. Let's see if it's good. She 
is a beaut. I'll save this for my avocado toast. We got, so we ordered groceries last night and some, I think we got some of someone else's order because we got like random stuff that we didn't even ask for. One of which being these hard boiled eggs. We didn't order eggs at all. So sorry to whoever ordered these peeled and cooked Ooh, hard boiled they eggs. Gave us, they also gave us the lactate. Lactate milk? We were like, pardon? No, why? Or also I asked for almond milk. Mm. So I don't know. I think someone else got my almond milk and then we got somebody else's eggs. But I've actually been curious about this because I see on TikTok all the time, there's like a viral avocado toast recipe where you grate, like with a cheese grater, you grate hard boiled eggs on top of avocado toast and supposedly it's really good. I'm apprehensive. Drew is very freaked out <laughs> at pre-packaged. I don't know, I really, I, I love egg, but I don't know how I feel about it. He's like freaked out about it. I'm sure it's gonna taste completely normal. <laughs> Eggs in a bag, I don't know. We're gonna do also some Parmesan crisps because I'm obsessed with these. So these are a, like, I think freeze-dried Parmesan. Please let me know in the comments if you are a Parmesan girly. Drew is not. He thinks it's gross. I could literally, and I do literally, eat Parmesan cheese by itself. Ew. I think it's delish. A little fly on me. Mm -hmm. ah! It's in your hair. Shut up. I got it. You're welcome. You hit my shoulder. I'm sorry. I would kiss it, but it's like fly. <laughs> For more crunch, we got the crispy onions. Onions actually taste like death to me right now, but when they're mixed into the salad, it's actually okay. This is already way too big of a salad. I can tell you that. You're gonna take it in. Nope, we're gonna do some hemp seeds. Well, do you, you want some? Mine, yeah. okay. These are actually really good for like, a source of protein, I've heard. I don't know. But you can't taste them when they're on salad, so it's kind of great. It says there's 10 grams of protein, 12 grams of omegas, three and six, and 20% of your daily iron. Gosh. Sure. Right. And then I'm gonna use the rest of these, well, oh. Kind of just crumbs, but these croutons, these croissant croutons that I showed in my Trader Joe's haul, these are delish. Oh my God, someone pointed out that, that you remember the, the commercial? I don't know why, just, yes? The commercial with the guy that was trying to, he was supposed to say buttery flaky crust. Yes, and the wife was like, <laughs> she was getting so And then she enough. tried doing it and she kept messing up. <laughs> yes, oh, all right. That was truly amazing. Let's see, I bet you you're gonna tell us Probably. Oh, I can smell them from here. Oh, this is oh, a part in a bag. Potent. Do you want egg white? I'll give you egg white. Oh my goodness. You oh, delicious. Oh, was that a little gag? Like, I don't she said, know hold it. up, what is that? Was it good? Oh, healthy queen. And then all that's left to do is put on our chicken tendies. And then I think I'm just gonna do my usual Annie's goddess dressing, delish. This is a monster salad, but I am excited. I'm hungry, so hopefully I'll be able to finish it. And then I'm gonna top it off with my dressing. Drew already put my chicken tendies on there. Are you out? I'm almost out too. I'm out. Oh no. All right, let's eat. Let's eat, dig in. <laughs> Not you, you're a dog. This is the nightly negotiations. Oh, I missed it. Drew offers up every single toy to Layla and then she decides which one she wants. It's usually the biggest, fluffiest one. And she's pleased with her decision. That was actually a toy we got for Drew's niece and Layla definitely stole it. Layla said, it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> we have become obsessed with this show for when we watch dinner. We're those type when of people. We watch dinner. When we eat dinner. We're those types of people who watch shows when we eat dinner. So whatever, sue us. But it's called Escape to the Countryside. I think we have to get a Brit Box. Like I think you have to have a Brit Box subscription on Amazon Prime yeah, to watch it. But if you, you know, just so happen to have it, it's so good. We've become obsessed with it. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog. It's literally become our new favorite show. And also, how good does this look? I'm so excited. Our dinner was delicious. I did in fact eat that whole salad, but um, we're just getting ready to start another show. Like our kind of, we have our dinner shows and then we have like our show shows, you know what I mean? Dinner shows have consisted of things like 
Grand Designs, Schitt's Easy Creek. Watch. Yeah. Like, you um, mean. The Office. You don't really have to like, pay attention. Yeah. Then we get to like <laughs> the main course, which is like our, our main TV shows of the night. And we're currently watching a lot of shows. We've started The Flight Attendant Season 2. Yeah. We've started um, Outlander season six, which is so gratuitous and, and dumb, but like we can't stop watching it. And then a couple of days ago, or maybe it was even yesterday, a girl that I follow, we follow each other on Instagram. She messaged me and was like, hey, have you seen the new show called The Staircase? And I thought she was talking about the Netflix series. And I was like, yeah, I watched it like three or four years ago or whenever it came out. And she said something about the acting being really good and i was like i googled it and i saw that there's a show on hbo in case you didn't know there's a show on hbo max called the staircase it's about that same case but it's more of like a actual tv show about it so there's like actors and colin firth plays the husband and in case you've never heard of the case before it's essentially a, a wife i mean she dies she passes away it's a true story um and she has either fallen down her stairs or was pushed down her stairs or was killed and then pushed down the stairs or whatever. Um, and the entire Netflix docuseries is about like the case, her the trial and, and just sort of figuring out like how did she die and if she was murdered or if it was an accident and all the, like the details and the logistics and all that kind of stuff and it was fascinating. And then yeah, now this is a show about that. So that's really exciting. And then also, we're watching a show that premiered like probably what? Last summer or like a little later? Yeah. And what's it called? All the way down or on the way down or the way down? The way down? So it's a show about a mega church, one of those mega churches, and they were really focused around weight loss, which is like a very bizarre so the thing. The more weight you lost, the closer to like God you were. Or like more Super bizarre. You were. And so we saw previews for it and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And it's in my freaking hometown. <laughs> I didn't even know this church existed. And then comes on the screen, a girl I went to church with. I literally grew up with. I was just like, what? Like literally there's interviews in my church that I grew up in. Like they're interviewing people in, in random parts of my freaking hometown. Like I could not believe it. That is my literal hometown. So anyways, that was crazy. Now they've released new episodes. So we have that to watch. We just have a lot. We have a lot of shows to watch. So we're very excited. So we're gonna we do- a lot going on, we are busy. <laughs> we're so busy. Why did I just spend three minutes and 57 seconds talking about our shows? I don't know, but anyways. We like to talk about our shows on this channel, you know? So highly recommend all of those. <laughs> Wait, was you gonna go for a walk? Gotta give you your medicine. And then we're going for walkies. next day I'm back from my hot girl walk it was fantastic I literally loved it my arms are so sore from the workout I did yesterday like leaning like this kind of hurts but it was actually so beautiful out this morning we're getting these like random couple of days where it's still cool in the mornings and I know I keep saying like that's gonna run out but like next week that's gonna be over we're into like 107 degrees during the day so anyways i'm enjoying it while i can but i'm gonna make my favorite smoothie i make this every single vlog pretty much i'm a broken record here i sometimes change ingredients depending on my mood sometimes i add things sometimes i take away things but the base of this smoothie is hold please first you're going to add a frozen banana it has to be frozen it just makes it like creamy and more of a smoothie texture. So I'm gonna do a whole banana. This is a tutorial, I guess. Then you're gonna add your greens of choice. I have this bag of frozen kale that I've been trying to work through, but I typically do fresh greens. But like we bought this kale for salads and then it was like taking too long to get through it. So I ended up freezing it. So that's kind of 
where we're at with that. And it's very messy. I'll clean that later. Then I add two scoops of this Ollie chocolate protein powder, which somebody told me isn't a thing anymore that they don't make it anymore. And I'm like, excuse me, it's my favorite protein powder. So I will be very sad if that's true. So I do two scoops of this and then I add either milk or water. Usually I use almond milk, but when we ordered our groceries, they gave us 2% dairy-free milk, which I was like, hmm. So I'm just gonna use this almond cashew macadamia beverage. This is supposed to be like a coffee creamer, but it's really like watery. So it's just like an almond milk kind of, so I'm just gonna use that. Sometimes I'll add like a spoonful of nut butter, like almond butter or something. Actually, that sounds kind of good, but sometimes I end up just getting the spoonful of almond butter and then I literally just eat it while this is blending. So I think I'm just gonna do that. If you've never had the Justin's brand maple almond butter, oh, this is so good, it's so good. So I'm just gonna eat that. Why not? Sometimes I add frozen blueberries to this. It just depends on my mood, but today I want like a really nice green smoothie. So that's why I left them out. Oh, yes. Now I need to take this upstairs and like shower and get ready. And well, I have some work to do too, but I have a FaceTime call in like 45 minutes or so with my friend Jasmine, who I haven't gotten to catch up with in forever. If you're new here, she's one of my friends that lives in the UK. She's also a YouTuber. Her channel's called Jazzy Bum, and she's just so much fun. She's like such a fun friend in person. And um, we've been YouTube friends, honestly, since like, mm, I would say at least 2015, maybe 2014. So we used to do videos back in the day where we would send each other, like I would send her American candy, she would send me British sweets. We would do these like virtual collabs where we would both try out like weird beauty products from Amazon and stuff. And, and then when I went to the UK, when Alexa and I went to the UK in 2018? 19? It was 19. We stayed with her for the whole week and like just had so much fun. So we're gonna catch up today. Okay, scratch that idea. I actually am gonna get in the pool again later because I'm addicted. Like I can't stop being in my pool. <laughs> my pool, LOL. My freaking kiddie pool. But I just finished making the thumbnail for the last vlog you saw. Hello? There it is make it on um, procreate for those of you that are wondering so anyway i'm actually currently uploading the last vlog and i have only about 15 minutes to get ready which i'm not really going to get ready because i'm just going to go lay in the pool afterwards but we'll see what we can pull together in 15 minutes all right it's currently 9 23 <laughs> i have until 9 30. i'm just doing this little like beach waver thing this is by i think bedhead i have had this well actually I, I had one and it broke so i got a new one but for the better part of like at least six or seven years i've had this thing and it's just the wave artist oh my god it's probably 20 30 dollars and it's essentially just like a giant crimping iron and a lot of times when i do my hair like in the beach waves people are like how do you get your hair like that and i just do this that's literally it. <laughs> it's super, super fast and easy. So that's what I do on days when I'm like really rushing because I quite literally have seven minutes. So I'm gonna try to finish this in two and then have five minutes to just like do a very, very quick makeup, like no makeup makeup. I actually have some travel coming up. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog, but I am going, well, the day you see this, It'll be basically the next vlog. It doesn't really matter what day it is, but I'm going to back to Orange County with Alexa. I'm so excited. I think by the time you see this, we'll actually be there. So we're going to be filming some really fun videos and just doing our kind of like beach trip together. It'll be so fun and also like a work thing as well. So that's exciting. And then I come home, um, a couple of my friends will actually be in town. The following week, I go to Disneyland for our friend's birthday. So that'll be really fun. We're going for like two, three days, something like that. And um, then I will be resting. However, talking to Jasmine today, I know for a fact that we are going to try to like plan a visit together or at least talk about it. I just feel like I really want to go back to the UK soon. And as much as I would love Drew to come with me and as much as he would love to come because he just started a new job recently, it's not really possible. And it's starting, it's going to start getting really busy. So he can't take like a week or two off. But I feel so freaking lucky that I get the opportunity to like work while I'm there. So 
that's possible, but listen, this is like, <laughs> this is far off in the future. All right, how much time we got? Four minutes, great, okay, here we go. Do a little concealer under the eyes. I don't really get bags, but I definitely get dark circles, so we'll do that. We'll do some powder. My powder is broken, so I'm just gonna try my best here. Okay, that's done, we're gonna do some bronzer. <laughs> 927, perfect. I just doesn't have to be on the knot, obviously, but I'm just trying to be punctual. I'm not even gonna put blush, I'm just gonna put my brush that already has blush on it. There we go. For brows, I am going to do this Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. It's my fave. So I just use this like spoolie brush. It's, this is like a Morphe brush. Oh my God, am I a beauty YouTuber? Wow. And then I just do like the tiniest bit just to kind of like darken them up a bit. I've actually been thinking about doing microblading now that I've done the lamination and tint thing for a few times. Like I think I want something a little more permanent, but I'm also scared that like the sort of feathery brows are gonna go out of style and then I'm gonna look weird. And then we're gonna do some Glossier Boy Brow. It's just like a brow gel. This is the blonde color. I also have the, I think it's like taupe color. There we go. I'm just going to brush. I just have this little like spoolie that my lash lady gave me. I'm just gonna brush out my lashes and hope that like eight of them don't fall out. We're ready to go. Chapstick and that's it. I did it. I feel pretty superior right now, I'm not gonna lie. So this is much more FaceTime <laughs> presentable. Not that it matters, but I just wanna look nicer. Hello. Hi, Hi. how are you? Two hours later. Just got off a good old heartwarming two hour FaceTime with Jasmine. That was so lovely. We've been chatting about some potential ideas for a trip. So keep an eye out for that. I feel like it's so necessary. I've been like foaming at the mouth to get back to the UK. So that would be very exciting. But yeah, I'm gonna take the rest of the day. Maybe do like a quick lunch break pool dip, but I have to work the rest of the day. So hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.